Oh, he got eaten. That's a good fish. Dude, this is not a bad fish. Got one. Yep. Yeah, it is red. Oh, cut bait, cut bait, cut bait, cut bait. Oh, it's not bad. Hey, dude. What's going on, everyone? So in today's video, I'm out here with my buddy Jordan, and we're doing a little bit of inshore fishing. Really, the only goal that we had coming out this morning was to try and use some cut bait at the very low part of the tide. And we really wanted to get one redfish for the two of us to keep. So that was the goal going into today's video. But we also got greenbacks, pinfish, and some live shrimp in the cast net last night when we were loading up the bait pin. So we kind of did a little bit of an experiment today to see which one was going to catch us the most and biggest fish. And we did pretty well. We'll get right into today's video. Got a cut bait out with a piece of cut pinfish on this rod sitting on the bottom. Jordan's gonna get a cut bait out in front of the boat. There's redfish all around us, right there. Jordan, you see that? Yeah, I got a piece of cut pinfish right here with a 2-0 circle look. We're gonna be casting it out, see if we can get some of these redfish that are out here on this super shallow grass flat. Tide's starting to come up now. These redfish are out here, kind of pushed off the flat the lack of water. Look at them all up there where that bird just flew by. Uh, a little bit past where I had my bait. I get it over there. Not quite, but try it. I got drag, drag. pretty tight drag, so should set itself. I'm going to throw some lures while we're waiting. I'm going to be throwing this Z-Man Diesel Minnow, I'm pretty sure this is called. The bigger version, completely weedless. Let's see if we can get a redfish to eat this. Oh, I see one. Yeah, I hit him. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Get him, you get him. You got him? Yeah, yeah. There we go. I saw the rod just start bouncing. I'm like, uh-oh. Thank you, sir. Doesn't seem too big. Come on. Cut bait. Got hit pretty quickly. Come on over here. Yeah, we should be fine. Oh, it's not bad. Five. Probably like a 20, 18, 20. I thought it was gonna be a little rat red. It felt like it first. Okay. So far, cut bait one, shrimp and artificial zero. Yeah, not bad. Little guy. Kind of swallowed it though. There, he's 21 and a half. Do you want to, I know you wanted to keep a redfish. Do you want to catch your own? He kind of swallowed it too. It's up to you. you well, know, that's like the perfect size one to keep yeah. it if you want. Yeah. Let's do it. He kind of swallowed the hook too, so honestly probably better. We we're going to keep one fish anyway and 21 and a half is kind of the perfect size. Boom. All right, now I got to retie, get another cut bait. Dude, there's some bigger ones out there though. Another piece of cut pinfish a little bit bigger hook on just to see if that will save us from gut hooking anymore joy and i were running to our next spot and as we were running we saw some jacks blowing up so he tied on a greenback and threw it out and he's hooked up right now you gotta mute the sound of my reel how big is this fish about to be See him down there? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Perfect. Should we keep moving to the yeah. snook spot? All right. Grab one of these greenbacks. Got 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. The water is really clear. Uh, 1-0 circle look right here. A loop knot. I'm gonna take my green back. Come right through the nose, just like that. 
I see a snook, I see a snook, I see a snook. Okay. Yeah. Ready for this? Ready for it. I spooked him. I'm on. Are you? Yep. Oh, nice. Little guy. Kind of side cast of that one. Come here, little guy. There's a bunch of tiny ones over there. There's a couple. If you cast over there, you'll probably get another one. Come on up here. You're cute. Not quite the size we're looking for. Around the corner of the mouth. Little baby snook. Part two of my slam. Yep. See it. I'm gonna try a big greenie. Alright. See if that like catches their attention a little bit more. There you go. Got one. Yep. Another little one over there. They're on that oyster bar. Nice pleasure. I mean, slightly better than the other one. He does. He's pretty cool. Woo! I was just like, I'm gonna cast it back over there, see if there's any more. Come on. I guess he's not terrible. Got him. I mean, not terrible. Not big. 24 incher. Nice. All right. See you, dude. Go get bigger. There we go. I forgot I had a green back still. Nice. Yeah. Oh, I'm on immediately. Oh, I'm off. <gasps> on the greenback, I got hit immediately. I'm not joking, like as soon as it hit the, yeah. the water. Bigger one or another? Uh, no, like one this size. I'm guessing like a, another like mid-20 snook. It was like right, uh, a little more to the left. Oh, did you see that? No, I didn't. I was reeling it back and the snook tried to pop it on the surface. Literally reeling it back and one hit it right on the surface. But didn't come back for it. Cast over there. Where? Reel up. I'm on. Nope. I'm on. That's a good fish. What is this? Dude, this is not a bad fish. That's a snook. A little bit better snook. Okay, that's not a bad one. Okay. Took him a bunch of times to finally eat. There you go. Getting closer to like a slot fish. I don't think he's quite there, but. Come on over here. Come on over here. Probably the same fish that was blowing up on the surface after it. Good job. We 
done yet. Around the corner of the map. The better one. A pretty fish. 27 and a half. Just barely under slot. That was fun on that setup. It's already kicking. See you, dude. Let's see if I can catch all the fish. Oh, oh, he got eaten. That's a good fish. Maybe I'll put a green back on. <laughs> Maybe you should put a green back on. <laughs> kind of feels like a red. It is a red. Nah, I'm good. Good red? I think I'm good. Yeah, it is a red. Oh, cut bait, cut bait, cut bait, cut bait. One just hit the cut bait. I don't know if he's still on. I don't think he's on. He might be. No. Uh, I got a decent red on the greenback. There we go. He's a little red fish. Already got one in the box, so you're gonna get released. I got gotcha. you. Nice Probably a little bit better. Probably like 23. He's so colorful. Holy crap. So I've gotten one on cut bait and one on a greenback so far today. Hooks up. Nice redfish. I'll get the measurement on him. The other one I got was 21 and a half. This guy is 22 and a half. Nice. A little bit bigger. See it. Go. That was not a good release. There he goes. Now he swam off. I'm gonna try this freaking tank for shrimp. You try greeny. Greenies are working. Let's go to the hook on the back here by the tail from underneath up through the top. Here we go. Oh, I wasn't recording for the, the eat, but Jordan's hooked up on greenback, right? What do you think, red? I think... Yeah, low red. Probably another like high teens, low 20s. I don't think he's that big. He's little, little. Is he little, little? Oh, uh, he is a little, little guy. Adorable. So you have a jack. Yeah, tiny. And that red. Yeah. 17 probably. 17? 17. Yep. Oh. Oh, shrimp's getting tapped finally. Maybe later. Hold on. Nice. What is, is that sheep's head? No, it's red. a little red. There we go. I thought it was a big sheep's head. A little red on the shrimp. Okay. So we do have like a competition going between the three baits. One on shrimp, one on cut bait, and like five on greenback. We caught those shrimp. Yeah, we did. Come here. Cool. Just a little guy. He's got some cool spots though. Four on that side, four on that side. Eight spotter. See you, dude. We got about a half hour before we want to head in and I need to get my inshore slam. So I tied on a D-Way Cal and a little jig head and we're out here on this grass flat to see if we can pick up some trout before we head in. And immediately. First cast, like as soon as it hit the ground. A D-Way Cal. I mean, it's a little guy, but that's a slam. Like first cast in. See you, dude.